You are only in the audition room on an average of five minutes, just a few minutes to get comfortable, answer questions, take directions, hopefully get a rehearsal, slate, and do one or several takes. You would benefit greatly from insiders who see the best and worst auditions and who can give you insights and tips to avoid mistakes and help you do your best work. Hi, my name is Carolyn Barry, and I am your commercial master teacher. Today I will be giving you vital information on how to do your best in commercial auditions. And to help you do better auditions, I have here four top Los Angeles commercial casting directors. Meet Terry Burland, Danielle Eskenazi, Jeff Girard, and Francine Selkirk. I suggest if an actor has one or two lines and it's just them on camera, like, got to go to the market, you know, something like that, I always encourage them to give a launch, uh, which is uh, what happened before that scene started. So maybe they were reading, maybe it's an activity, maybe it's a sneeze, maybe it's something to lead them into that scene. Tips for the actor, watch and listen. Listen. Ask any question you want, but let them get out the direction, okay? Because they've been giving it all day or something has just changed. They're probably going to answer the question you're going to ask in two seconds. So let them get it out there. Let them get all that information out there because then most of the time I'll turn around and say, does anyone have any questions? It should sound very one-on-one, -on -one, so they need to make the camera someone who they're very, very, very familiar with. And that's who they should be talking to. Stay focused and stay in tune to what that other actor is giving you. Don't try to play it like that other actor isn't there and you're just going to steam through it as if it's your role. Stay with the energy that you chose, that you believe is right. You could be with someone who's doing a really bad job, so you don't want to let them bring you down. Yeah, just try to connect with them as much as you possibly can, and if they screw up, don't go ugh, look into the camera and go, oh God. Just try to pick up for them where they left off, and, um, and you know, that makes a good actor that you don't stop the whole audition and say, he screwed up, you know. I, I hope actors pay attention to what's going on in the scene. It's not all about them. There's a lot of listening that needs to go on. So don't upstage the other actors. Know where your light is. Know where your camera is. It's a lot to pay attention to. I think actors should prepare three things that they can talk about at any point in their lives. Um, and then the actor will say, well, what do you mean? Uh, why, how can, if they're asking me what are the, the, the toppings that I like on a pizza, you know, if that's the question I've been given, how do I tell them that I play the ukulele? Okay, so, so here's what you do. You guide the answer. You say, well, you know, uh, in the summertime, I really, you know, I'm, I, I like the pepperoni stuff, you know, when I'm out by the pool and I'm playing my ukulele and the kids are running around. So you can create whatever you want to talk about. You know, say you play an instrument or you knit or you want to talk about your child or you climb to Mount Kilimanjaro. You can make the audition your own. Being yourself for non-scripted auditions, um, We'll tell you what we're looking for, and if you could sort of uh, get into that character as easily as possible, that helps us a lot. Even though it's an improvised audition, I say know your product. Know your style in which those commercials are shot. Don't, once again, don't try to be funny just because it's an improv scene. Don't feel you have to add that last zinger on the commercial. Have a lot of fun. That's why we're asking you to improvise. You cannot let 
another actor's performance influence your scene, even though it's internal stuff that we work off of. I mean, you have to just do the best work you can. Um, don't go on and on and on and on. It's just short, sweet stories. Um, and don't use a lot of curse words. Um, and um, try to relate to the camera as much as possible and make it very personal, but make it fun and light. They want to know you. Give them something that's going to make you stand out. Talk about anything other than acting. Have a little story in your back pocket. Um, a, something that you like to do that you're very enthusiastic about. Um, you'll become very animated. Be honest and try not to lie. If you're in an audition where there's questions, don't answer with just one word. Um, use a couple of sentences and show some personality. When, when someone's asked you a question and you have to respond, the more detail you have in an improvisation, the better. Example, if I say, Are, do you collect anything? And you say, I collect handkerchiefs. End of scene, right? End of scene. So, but if you say, well, my, my parents gave me a box of handkerchiefs and I keep them in a, in a drawer and, you know, no one's allowed to touch them. And, you know, some I use in the morning, some in the afternoon. And you go on. You, I mean, it, it can be brilliant. When we're doing dialogue and they screw up like one small word, they, they, they say, okay, stop, I'm sorry, I want to do it over again. Just try to cover it up and, and it make it more fluid. And, um, or if they, and then they lose themselves and they don't know where to go or what to do. And, it gets in, they get into a tizzy. I think that's a big mistake that they do. There was a brilliant audition going on. The actor must not have known it. And he stopped himself. And I went, no. I, I, uh, it's, it's, it kills me because it's hard to get that back. Everyone makes mistakes, and it doesn't mean that it's a bad audition. Just with lighthearted humor, if you can't push through the mistake, ask to start again. I don't mind an actor asking for a second or third take um, if they're truly feeling that they didn't do their best, if they're truly feeling they're not being represented the proper way. But just to ask for another uh, shot at it and not deliver anything different, I think is a waste of everyone's time. I feel it is okay to stop if you're really lost and you're really struggling. You know, maybe you cursed on camera. We really don't want that. So I think the other side of it is try to find a way to get back into it. I really try to make the act, it's like therapy, try to make it work. But if we think that you did great, we're not going to ask for a second take. And you shouldn't ask for a second take unless we say we want to do a second take because we like you. And we, knew that we, you, we know that you have the potential to do better. So. Um, you know, if it's completely screwed up, you could ask for it, but, you know, let us do that for you. Because we want to look good, we want you to look good. If an actor really has a burning desire, there's something that will enhance their performance, mm -hmm. they should ask the session director, because ultimately, we want to get a great performance. So we'll work with you. We do not have input on who gets callbacks. The um, director and the creative team at the ad agency give us their callback list. On the first round, um, they pretty much know who they want. And sometimes the director, because I've been in the room and I see them act, they, he would say, you know, pick out a couple that you think are great that I might have missed. Every once in a while, in the actual session, they'll say, Who'd you like? Why didn't you like her? I could tell you didn't like her. And I might say, you know what? I like her. She might be a little too much trouble on a set, you know, because of stuff that has happened in the past. I don't have much of an influence on who gets a callback. I'd say taking chances and adding a button at the end of uh, an audition. In commercials, seriously, you get five minutes to be in a room, 
you have some dialogue. You you should have worked on who this character is, where you are, and, and who you're talking to. So if you haven't done your homework, you're kind of lost inside. And we're expecting you to come in, not necessarily be brilliant, but be try to be creative. The tips and insights that these top casting directors have given you should help you do much better commercial auditions. I believe having this insider knowledge will give you an edge in getting more callbacks and booking more jobs. On the next video in this series, these wonderful casting directors will be giving you important information about the callback. The callback is where the pressure is really on and where actors often make the most mistakes. This upcoming callback video could make a big difference in helping you book commercials. Now, if you have missed any of my previous MTT videos, do check the archives on my commercial page. Also, for more on the craft and business of being a successful commercial actor, check out my CD program, Getting the Job, and my book, Hit the Ground Running. Be sure to watch the other videos of my MTT partners. I promise you that what you will learn from the training videos on our site will make a big difference in your career. See you next time. Thank you.